carnivorous plants are part of our natural ecosystem. It's a rare group of plants that have evolved to portray a very specific mode of metabolism and distinguished themselves as a specific group of plants under the broad plant kingdom. Carnivorous plants or any plants especially adapted for capturing and digesting insects and other animals by means of indigenous pitfalls and traps. Carnivory in plants has evolved independently about six times across several families and orders. Now more than 600 species of carnivorous plants are known to science representing a diverse group and they occupy different habitats. The conspicuous trapping mechanism of trapping plant is mostly a very highly modified leaf that draws special attention. A variety of trapping mechanisms exist and are designated as active or passive based on whether they move to capture prey. Pitfall traps such as those found in pitcher plants are among the most common types of traps and employ a hollow lidded leaf filled with liquid to passively collect insect and digest. Fly Paper traps can be active or passive and rely on sticky mucilage either directly on the leaf surfaces as in case of butterworts or on gland tripped hairs as in case of sundews to capture prey. Snap traps as those known in case of Venus fly trap use rapid leaf movements to actively ensure and capture insects. Bladder traps are only found in bladderwort plants of the generous Utricularia, which is an aquatic plant and actively suck in small organisms using a partial vacuum. Lobster pot traps found predominantly in corkscrew plants belonging to the genus Gensilicia employ downward pointing hairs to force prey deeper into the trap. Carnivorous plants use enzymes or bacteria to digest their prey through a process of chemical breakdown analogs to digestion in animals. The end products, particularly nitrogenous compounds and salts, are absorbed by the plants to enable their survival under the otherwise marginal or hostile environmental conditions. Most carnivorous species are green plants that manufacture food by photosynthesis from raw materials such as sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide in the presence of the green coloring pigment of the leaves called chlorophyll. The carnivorous habit arguments that the diet derived from the poor soil of their particular environment. Whether aquatic or terrestrial, carnivorous plants have basically similar ecology. The majority are most likely to be found in damp heats, bog swamps, and muddy or sandy shores where water is at least seasonally abundant and where nitrogenous materials are often scarce or unable unavailable because of acid or other unfavorable soil condition. Carnivorous plants are relatively small, but size variation is enormous within the same genus. The majority are herbaceous perennials, less than 30 cm high, often 10 to 15 cm. Some species of pitcher plants, uh, called Nepenthes, however become large shrubby vines. Drosera species vary from few centimeters to one meter or more in height. The smallest are often hidden among the moss of a sphagnum box. Shoikot Kumar Basu, Bureau Report, Glenningro Chronicle TV.